policy makers and change makers at the political level, they have to really learn how to use money and resources contingently, like a DRA. Like, hey, you start to come back and you get off some of the support or medical support that you have, you get X dollars. Um, you, you come back for a whole week, it progressively increases. It, you, you come back for four weeks straight, the money increases for that person coming back to work. So it's like, it's gotta be flipped around. I, I, this is the, a tough topic, I think. Do you have any, I know well, it's controversial For a really long probably. time too, a lot of people were making more money staying home than oh, they yeah. would have actually at their job. So they rode that out the entire time. Yeah. So they got used to being home all that time. So getting back into that groove of going to work, there's yeah. there's help wanted signs everywhere right there now. There are so many help wanted signs everywhere in the service industry and then in the human service industry. Most people now, I believe, want to sit home at their computer and go behind a camera because it, I'm not even saying it's their fault, but like there's a fear to leave your house at times. And I'm not going to lie. There was a period of time during the pandemic. I had that fear, you know what I mean? So I can't really judge people, but behavior science can help people with that. Like just systematic desensitization. Like if, if the resources are delivered in a systematic way where you gradually errorlessly get somebody back to work and they're rewarded for, Hey, I'm going to work half a day to start. Hey, Week two, we're gonna work a full day. And I know this isn't always practical. You know, week three, we're gonna work just three days as a sub, you know? I think we, people yeah. too started to see that they could just do their jobs at home. Yeah. And then that was so much easier and there was yeah. less of a response effort and they got paid the same. Yes. Meaning teachers is yeah. being one, one of the major occupations that that happened to. Yeah. So getting them back in and and also getting them other, to work has been difficult. Other yeah. opportunities to make money while they were doing their job. True, oh, yeah. very true. You know, what Brianna yeah. just said is, is important because I saw a teacher doing contract work in New Jersey and making a ton. And then at the same time, he would hit, he would hit mute. He would, he would get a, yep. like a weed whacker and shit. And then he would pop in his truck mm -hmm. and then act like, and then just look at his screen and act like he was coaching students. Right. So he was making double the money and... Wow. Because I, a lot of teachers weren't required to actually yeah. be on and in, yeah. providing instruction the whole amount of time that they were supposed to be. So they would use it as like a, a free study period. Like they would teach maybe for 20 minutes yeah. and then say, all right, do this work. If anybody has a question, drop it in the chat. Yeah. So while that was in the chat and they were Just because it's in the chat. Something else. Right. Yeah. There has to be a contingency for the teacher to actively respond. Yeah. Cause you may have motivated and be on students. Camera. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, poor modeling for the yeah. students. Yeah. So like. So that's why it's so hard to get teachers to come back to work too. Yeah, response it's effort. it's response effort and then escape to something else again. Right. Mm -hmm. So it could be escape the tangible stimuli, which is I'm making money on the side, staying home, and I got three computers in front of me, and I, and I'm and I'm a sub at the same time in another school <laughs> with a third computer. Right. And then they don't need childcare, so that's the other. Yeah. Uh, well, I was just going to say you're also talking about changing schedules of reinforcement in terms of how they get paid, which I think is a really interesting idea. You know, in order to get people back, given all the things that they've gone through, maybe yeah. they need maybe there needs to be some other way of paying them. That's and exactly right. In a sense, it's really it's schedules of reinforcement. You guys are out there, and you're in schools. One, because your own work ethic and your own history of reinforcement, right? And the way you were raised and all those things. But two, you're paid for your performance as opposed to a teacher sitting home collecting the salary no matter what. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, I so, think that's a key yeah. part too. Like, like, it's not so much of just getting them back through the door to work, it's also their performance. Yeah. It's not just, just doing yeah. your job, it's doing your job well. Mm -hmm.